This video is going to tell you all about the concept of sets and what are the elements of a set. How do we denote a set and we'll take at some of the examples of a set. So first, let's understand what are sets. To do this, I'll give you an example. Let's say for example, if I say that there is a set called A, okay, which contains of vowels in English language. Now what are the vowels in English language? If I talk about the vowels in English language, we have A, E, I, O, and U. Right? Now, when we say that there is a set A, what is this? This is basically nothing but a collection. A collection of what? A collection of vowels in the English language. Or I can also say that it is an aggregate of vowels in the English language. Or this is a class of a set of object in English language. And this basically takes us to the definition of a set. What is a set? A set is nothing, but it is a well-defined. So when we say vowels in English language, it was well-defined. We did not say some alphabets in English language. Collection. There are more than objects. Run. There are more than one object in the set. It's a collection of things. Now, good thing is that, you know, every set is a collection of things. But every collection of things need not be a set. And it's a collection of objects. These objects could be anything. In our example, it was the vowels. Right? It would be anything. So let's say it could be the number of triangles in a hexagon. Right? Similarly, analogous to the concept of sets is the concept of elements. And what are the elements? When we looked at the set, okay, there were several vowels in this particular set. These vowels are individually known as the elements of a set. Okay, you may call it element, you can also call it that these are the objects of a set. So when we discuss questions relating to set, we will say that there are these objects of a set or they are members of a set. So this entire thing over here is actually nothing but a set and all the components out here are the members of the set. Right? Or in the crudest form, they can also be called as the element of a set. Now, one thing we need to note here is that a set is always denoted by a capital letter. So when we said a set A, we had put in A is equal to A, E, I, O, U. Whenever we denote a set, this is known as set A, we always denote it by a capital letter. So let's say, for example, we use N as the collection of natural numbers. But again, the capital letter is used to denote a set, right? So let's say in our example, we said A is equal to set of vowels in English language, which was A, E, I, O, U. So A is a set denoted by capital letter. These are the elements of a set. And whenever we have to write that a particular element belongs to a set, so let's say if I have to say that A belongs to E, or actually A belongs to a set A. So we write this as A, then an E, A. This is kind of a sign you use for euros, the E which you use there. This means that A belongs to, or is a part of set A, right? On the other hand, if I have to say that there are other alphabets, let's say for example M. M is not a part of set A because the elements of set A do not include M. So we write this as M does not belong to A. So you just write the belong to sign and then cross it across. So let us see some examples. Okay. And here basically when I talk about the examples, this means examples of a set. So if I say collection of countries of Asia. This is what? We know there are certain countries which are part of Asia. 
it's a defined object right it's a defined collection so therefore this is a set similarly past prime ministers of india again this is a set because this combination or collection is a well defined collection it's not a vague thing as against this if i say a collection of or let me just erase this not collection of good singers now we don't know what a good singer would mean this is a very subjective thing it's not well defined what may sound good to one may not sound good to the other similarly good teachers again you don't know whether a teacher is good or not right so these are not sets why because they are not well defined you cannot have a defined parameter to kind of assess it whereas in order to constitute a set there has to be a well-defined object right a collection of objects 